Uh, I am uh, going to talk about uh, 10 awesome features uh, unique to MariaDB. Uh, and 10 in this case is just a number, you know, like when you write a title, it has to have some cool number in it. And uh, 10 is, uh, is one. So let's uh, uh, look at some history. Of course, you guys uh, uh, know all of this, but I think that's a good background for uh, setting the stage for this presentation, right? So uh, in the early days, obviously, MariaDB started from uh, the uh, MySQL code base. And then there was, I think, this interest in uh, uh, kind of uh, race between two versions, right? You would have uh, uh, some versions uh, have been backported uh, to uh, MariaDB from MySQL, and then, then some of the innovations which first appeared uh, in, uh, um, in MariaDB also were uh, later uh, re-implemented in, uh, in MySQL. Though obviously over now more than a decade, there is still a lot of uh, very you know, cool and uh, unique features uh, in uh, uh, in MariaDB. Now, what I would uh, note uh, in this case also, the uh, definition of uniqueness, what I uh, have here is uh, something which does not uh, uh, exist in MySQL. Some features I mentioned, they also uh, exist in, uh, in Performance Server for MySQL, you know, just for clarity's sake. The other thing what I would mention also is Obviously, don't expect uh, full coverage uh, in this case, right? I selected a little bit more than a 10 features, but it is uh, not complete, right? I mean, uh, uh, right now there is a lot of uh, big and small features in, uh, in MariaDB. So uh, you can think about those, well, these are, you know, a bunch of features which, uh, uh, you know, Peter chose to uh, talk about. Okay. First, let me start with, I would say, this big uh, differences, big features, if you like. I think what is important with MariaDB is if you look at MariaDB server, it, it is not re, uh, really kind of creep aware, right? There, there is no, uh, you know, enterprise version which has like a, a good stuff of additional features. Well, there is, you know, something available from uh, MariaDB uh, corporation, but I think if you look at the server it's the, itself, right, it has a lot of features which are only available with some sort of like commercial subscription when you look at MySQL ecosystem, right? Like, for example, uh, you think about things like backup, uh, like uh, auditing, pluggable authentication, and many of those things which are uh, uh, considered to be uh, enterprise uh, grade requirements, right? They are uh, available in uh, MariaDB server as an open source and uh, it is wonderful. The next feature, which I would call the big one, uh, big one is how things work with, uh, um, with, um, uh, with uh, uh, Linux distributions, right? Uh, if you look at the MySQL, uh, the Oracle, right, they sort of, uh, have been uh, on uh, their uh, own track, right? Not particularly very much uh, uh, receptive to needs and approaches of how the Linux distribution tend to uh, approach. The development where uh, MariaDB has been working a lot closer to them, right? For example, the new uh, uh, releases uh, with uh, uh, MariaDB are aligned also with uh, uh, the LTS schedule of a major Linux uh, distributions, right? And I think that is also an uh, important thing, especially if you are uh, running your database, you know, uh, as a part of your uh, Linux distributions rather than just installing that separately. The next big philosophical thing to, uh, uh, to talk about is if you think about MySQL, uh, they have been for years now focused uh, only on uh, InnoDB storage engine. The rest uh, uh, was kind of, uh, you know, deprecated, uh, if you will, not getting a lot of uh, attention. Well, yes, of course, there is uh, also uh, uh, 
you know, NDB cluster, but that has been, uh, you know, uh, relegated to like a very uh, a niche product, right? You don't see a lot of uh, uh, adoption of that uh, product in, uh, in community. There, MariaDB supports a number of storage engines, right? Of course, we, besides uh, uh, the MariaDB, right, and uh, MySum, which is still supported by MySQL, we have ARIA storage engine, we have, you know, Connect storage engine, which is uh, pretty unique, where it is Myrox storage engine, S3 storage engine, and, uh, and some others. I think what is also important here is not just their, uh, uh, their uh, number of a storage engine which you kind of specifically supported, but also what uh, uh, MariaDB uh, is much more open to a third, uh, third parties, uh, which want to innovate, try create a different, uh, uh, different storage engines, right? And that is, uh, uh, is very much unique, right? Because uh, trying to do and maintain a storage engine for MySQL is completely, uh, you know, uh, pain in the ass, right? We know because we do that at Percona, right? Because we don't really uh, try to keep kind of a stable API and really their API is mainly kind of modified changes to meet the needs of InnoDB storage engine, right? Without regard of some other things which may work uh, conceptually in different ways. So I think that is a very, uh, very interesting. And that is also, I think, uh, not just unique in the MySQL MariaDB ecosystem, right? Because if you think uh, other database like Postgres, Postgres does not have a good concept of a storage engine, pluggable, pluggable storage engine, right? So it's not really a thing there. So if you really say, hey, you know what? I have been uh, innovating with some interest in new data storage, uh, methods, right, and I want to connect that to relational database, right, well, there, um, uh, the MariaDB is uh, uh, really probably the best uh, uh, vehicle mm, out there. Another thing which I think is uh, pretty cool and uh, mm, unique for uh, MariaDB is this uh, sharding with, their, uh, with a spider uh, storage engine, right? If you think about, uh, uh, the MySQL ecosystem as a whole. Of course, we do have uh, uh, Vitesse, right, which is uh, obviously like a proxy on the top of uh, uh, of um, of uh, uh, the, of a database, right, and that's uh, obviously is not uh, not quite the same, uh, right, as MySQL. Yes, there are some other uh, solutions like um, uh, like uh, like TiDB. Uh, the, for example, right, which is in a completely standalone implementation. But if you think about saying, hey, the, uh, the sharding solution, which is uh, built in in a database that's all, that only uh, exists in, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in MariaDB. Next thing I wanted to highlight is this uh, uh, client library and protocol where uh, MariaDB also had some uh, nice uh, uh, innovations, right? Such as non-blocking queries or extension to be able to report the progress of long operations, you know, you know like a uh, alter table uh, and such. And uh, this is, uh, I think, is interesting, not just on itself, but also maybe as an illustration of our, our approach, right? What I like about uh, MariaDB, what they uh, picked up a, a lot of those kind of a, uh, small uh, things, but which are kind of, you know, which have been missing pain uh, in the ass, right? Think about, for example, non-blocking queries. Well, it's not you know, particularly big thing, right, being kind of implemented in a client library. But if you think about the over uh, last few years, right, the raise of this kind of like asynchronous programming concept, the fact that the MySQL uh, client library on itself does not have it, that's kind of, you know, just silly, right? Or uh, this kind of things, yes, yeah, so on an extent, you can think about uh, progress report, that is just a matter of convenience. But that is also like a pain in the ass, right? If you guys have ever 
looked at you run, you know, some long query or ultra table and oh my gosh, well, I have no clue if it's uh, going to complete in the next uh, 10 minutes or if I have to wait for another 10 hours, that is, you know, not a good situation to be, right? And I think my you fix it many, many of those. Another examples I could, uh, I could do is what I uh, really like is this kind of a highlighting. Right, is what if you uh, think about, you know, uh, 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 MariaDB client, right, or even uh, like how uh, MariaDB integrates with like a system D, right? It's kind of much more, uh, there's like a, a relevant things that have been highlighted. Again, that's kind of a mi minor thing. It's not like this kind of like a major feature, but uh, for in a practical day to day operations, uh, that is. Um, uh, very uh, relevant and wonderful. Uh, the next thing I would mention, which also probably falls in this regard, is things like uh, enhanced uh, protest list. Right? What you can see in a, a protest list in uh, MariaDB, there is a bunch of uh, uh, additional uh, uh, column information, right? About mm, progress, memory usage, and you know, uh, a, bi a bunch of uh, other stuff. If you think about MySQL, yes, you can uh, find a lot of information, but it is uh, in a performance schema. You have to kind of, you know, uh, join a bunch of tables. Uh, it's not so convenient. It's not uh, uh, so fast, right? Even if you use a, a kind of sys schema, yes, maybe you're able to do it, you know, for a single query, but because it kind of has to join a bunch of tables where that is not very, Mm, fast and has you know performance overhead if you want to for example use that for uh, for monitoring so I think that's a very uh, nice and cool uh, feature another example right of, a, of the same sort is uh, energy mutexes right well somebody like me who is always interested about the performance especially you know like a complicated performance cases uh, being able to actually mm, uh, uh, very much see where contentions happen, say, in, in the DB, right? And again, uh, through that very uh, uh, simple query is, uh, c you know, quite convenient, right? Again, if you look at, uh, uh, at uh, MySQL and also in MariaDB, right, because it supports uh, performance schema, you can do that through performance schema as well, but that's kind of uh, uh, much, more, uh, uh, much more complicated. Next thing, focused on performance as well, is this uh, slow query log with, uh, with explain, right? I think that is uh, uh, wonderful, especially if you're doing developing environment, want just to get like a very easy access to the queries uh, uh, which has been uh, uh, slow. Mm, getting an explain in a slow query log is, uh, is very good. Here is also one uh, uh, important reason I think why uh, this is uh, uh, very helpful is uh, because uh, you cannot always repeat uh, their slow queries, right? Like sometimes you get a query, uh, the same explained for slow queries, right? You may be taking a query from a slow query log, you run it, but you know, because of, uh, uh, you know, different state of a table, different timestamp, right? Or because, you know, like a optimizer taking a different plans uh, or because of statistics, right? You may just not repeat it, right? And I think I've seen so many times when somebody complains, oh, once upon a time, right? Maybe once in a blue moon, the query is having a bad plan, it is slow, but when you run explain for it, it's good, right? And then mm, uh, uh, it's, problem, uh, it's a problem to repeat it, right? then you actually can see uh, the explain, you can understand right, what's going on. Maybe you can say, well, you know what, we can see what in this particular case, the optimizer is choosing a bad plan and that may give you to say, hey, you know, we can force a different execution plan, right, update the stats, so do a bunch of stuff like that. Okay, next, in terms of a small and practical uh, things, uh, would be uh, the data types, right? Like I, I uh, very much like what uh, uh, MariaDB has uh, uh, provided number of uh, 
uh, data types, right, and the operations to support to support them. Uh, like for example, uh, UUID, right, uh, or uh, the types for uh, IP addresses, right. If you think about the MySQL answer in this case, saying, well, but you know what, you can use the binary X Y Z, right, and then there is let's say some functions for you to convert them. That is kind of Yes, it is possible, but you know what? The important thing to know is what the developers are lazy. And the developers are getting lazy year after year, right? And so what that means is what the usability standards, right? How easy things we have to make for them, uh, uh, this kind of becomes higher and higher, right? So uh, forcing people to do that kind of extra movement conversion, right? And uh, it, you know, when you, I don't know, let's say, deal with, uh, you know, binary strings in the MySQL dump and shit like that, well, you don't want to do that, right? Mm. Things like UID data type is, uh, mm, is a much, uh, much better choice. Great comment. It, yes. What I like with the data types is that they're loadable, so anybody that can create the new data type now. They are plugins. Oh, nice. That's, uh, Mm, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's very good. Yeah. So what you're saying? Yeah. So what you're saying is Marie DB catching up with Postgres, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and in, some in, in some cases, they try to catch up with us. So it's. Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. That's uh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's. Um, mm, uh, but that's uh, good. What they are. Uh, they are pluggable. Thank you for. And creating that type is uh, limited a lot, so <laughs> you can't do much on it. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, the next one, what I wanted to highlight is the system version tables, right? I think that was like a very, I would say, like a big effort, uh, I think, in, uh, at the, in MariaDB to get that uh, uh, implemented. And I think this is kind of like an uh, interesting, right, because uh, when I uh, talk to people from, many people say, well, system version tables, what? Why the hell would you want uh, that, right? Like, for if you're just uh, writing your, like, uh, you know, blog, right, or something, that's uh, not very. But then you uh, talk about some people from, you know, financial industry and some others, right? They often say, oh my gosh, right, we really need that kind of be temporal uh, stuff, right? Because in our things, everything has to be audited. There's like a complicated, you know, rule changes, right? Like uh, I remember like working at some point with some like insurance company and they can say, well, we are today have modified this insurance plan to, you know, take place on a January 1st, right? And be working this way until March, uh, March kind of 31st, right? And now we need to, you know, like figure out, right, what exactly has to be, you know, applicable for this situation, right? That is, uh, at the, on the one extent, uh, you know, uh, you can think about that relatively niche, but for those industries, that is a very, uh, not very important uh, feature which enables building applications uh, much easier, more conveniently, right? And also, I think. What we, uh, what we see with uh, open source databases enable um, uh, easy immigration from those like a commercial databases, Oracle, SQL Server, right, which often uh, have some support of that. What I also want to highlight is again what uh, MariaDB does is try to simplify things, right? Like you can say, hey, you know what, if you look at the conventional, what, you know, SQL standards or those kind of databases say, they have, you guys do something like uh, like a first thing, right, then in MariaDB, uh, enabling uh, system version, right, if defaults can be just done with a one simple, mm, a simple clause, right, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Yes. And it's nice you can do this under the slaves. So you can add the master, have everything, uh, have normal, and then you have a history of the slaves. I see. So you can, you can have it just on, yeah. just on the slaves. I was just like thinking, but then uh, if you alter something on uh, on the master, would it is a very chance uh, you did, uh, you decide it, on the slave? If you keep the version in uh, fields, yes. 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 Yeah. So uh, what we are lacking is uh, 
a way to say on the master that execute it this table this way on on the master and this way on the slave. That's something that. I yeah, yeah, I'm saying what if you would say if you alter on the master to sort of like remove versioning, right? It will also clean it up on the slaves, right? Kind of yes, in some senses, yes. but you can't really delete it to the master because master doesn't have it. Well, that, no, that's right. Uh, I see. So it will give you uh, give you an error, right? Mm. Oh no. Not, yeah, because I know, like, <laughs> if you think about like yeah. compression, right, in a DB, if I have a my master not compressed, uh, slave compressed, right, but then you can say, hey, I want to sort of remove compression on the on the master, which is already removed. It will kind of transition to remove on, on the slave as well. Actually, I don't know how you would do that without that table because you. you we can't say not compressed, but let's we'll discuss that afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So uh, the next one is uh, optimistic parallel replication. That is now I think is a pretty uh, cool and uh, kind of creative uh, you know, creative feature, right? Where I, again, if it, in uh, the which. Uh, can uh, in practice, right? Then you have a lot of uh, workloads where you have like you know a lot of tenants modifying data, right? Which is not uh, not conflicting. That allows you to uh, uh, get much uh, better, uh, you know, parallel replication, right? Compared to uh, what was actually you know committed to, to give on the master. So I think that's uh, mm, uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, Another, I would say, like a creative replication slash bin log uh, enhancement is uh, this uh, flashback, which I think is, uh, you know, a pretty cool uh, way to, um, uh, you know, to go uh, to go back uh, in time, right? I think that is where probably also like some uh, uh, the tooling, uh, right, can be uh, can be helpful, right? Because I think what we often C is uh, very is let's say kind of or uh, one kind of nasty query, right? So we say, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't want to completely roll back to the last fifteen minutes, but I sort of want to roll back, kind of skip skip a back query, right? And then kind of uh, try to roll forward, right? As much, except that you know, let's say, delete the forgotten where clause, right? Or uh, or something like that. What is also to be said about the fl uh, flashback, right? I think it has been existing now for uh, a number of years, right? And there is a task saying, hey, you know, we also want to have a flashback working with um, uh, kind of DDLs by having some sort of like a shadow table uh, and something else, right? And uh, uh, yeah, I don't think that's, uh, there have been much progress, right, of enabling. Now, the really COVID kind of stopped that. So I haven't been in China as much, and they say that's oh, a, see, that. That is a, the most creative ways I've seen somebody to blame the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, from uh, from uh, Li Xinping, and I usually get, uh, get, uh, sit with him yearly and go through things that we could do together. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, just, uh, I'm just joking, right? Like, yeah, but uh, but yeah, make. Uh, but make uh, uh, that has been. Uh, I actually should connect with him again as he try, try to get an update from him. Yeah, sounds cool. Uh, good to hear. Uh, and I think where, my, uh, where MariaDB has done a lot of uh, work, I think, is uh, uh, the building on their uh, the, the, the com uh, compatibility. Right? And again, this is like not exclusive list, but some uh, uh, you can see things like uh, a SQL mode for Oracle, right, for more uh, syntax compatibility, there is support for uh, for sequences, right, which is uh, again like something which I know a lot of people who got used to <laughs> using sequences, uh, right, they may not quite like what. Did you ever dump sequences and try to restore? It works. It works. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah. I think it's always. I mean, we had one bug early on where. Yeah. <laughs> I find it. Yeah, oh, you found it. Yeah, because but the that... sequences in the, in the beginning, it was uh, way different to the sequences I knew. Oh, okay. And uh, I tried to dump and I couldn't restore. And there was a line, line some 
Shouldn't you say yourself? Yes, well, uh, look, I think that is a normal thing of a yeah, feature. You implement something, it's kind of buggy, it's incomplete, right? And then it uh, becomes better. That did work from day one. The only problem is that if you use that, then you yeah, uh, that they were referred to it. Yeah. Then, then you have to ensure that uh, we will dump the sequence yeah, first, the other one. We fix that within one month, there's somebody uh, reported it. Mm -hmm. But it's great to have this. Uh, in any case, so, um. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next uh, legal thing, or you know, m big thing, depending on what your uh, what your perspective is, uh, lag free uh, ultra table, right? I think this is always uh, was also very kind of interesting, right? The uh, setup where where you would have to sort of like wait uh, at least kind of double. Uh, to, right in uh, in this regard, with uh, this approach, right, you can essentially start the uh, alter table uh, on the replicas at the same time it starts on the uh, uh, on the master, right, and the, so reduce the time for um, uh, for that uh, that to take uh, take place. So I think that's a pretty uh, pretty cool. Another also, I would say, like a little uh, practical extension now from uh, security is this, uh, uh, is this grant to public, right? I think if you look at for a number of cases with many users, you would say, hey, you know what, I want to have all the users have this sort of like a minimum set of privileges, right? And then something uh, specific, right? Uh, before that, well, you'd have to either, you know, grant everybody is like uh, the same role, right? Or kind of other way maintain that uh, for every users, right, with, uh, uh, with MariaDB, you can decide, hey, you know what, there are certain privileges I want to uh, grant to all users through this um, grant to, to public. Again, I think this is a very uh, neat uh, uh, practical uh, extension. Now, another thing which uh, also looks maybe pretty, uh, pretty neat, but I know, uh, you know, a number of our, you know, consultants at Spircon has been used that very, uh, uh, very helpful. This is uh, ability to run uh, triggers for, for row events, all right? This is uh, helpful when you may have some uh, additional triggers which uh, exist uh, on uh, your replicas which don't exist on the master. And I again wanted to point out this uh, maybe like also conceptually, right, more than just the switch itself, right? If you think what the Oracle focus uh, with replication is kind of very simple. Well, replication is a means of clustering, right? So uh, your master and replicas will be sort of like exactly the same. That is uh, uh, the use case you're focusing on, right? If you look with MariaDB, it allows more creative use and hey, maybe you want to have a separate triggers, right? Or as Monty mentioned, say maybe you may want to have system versioning, but only uh, on your uh, slaves, right? Not uh, not on your uh, on your master, right? Conceptually, that is something what MariaDB tries to work, right? Where if you look at the MySQL Oracle's case, that is kind of uh, discouraged. Hey, you know what? Keep it simple. Master slaves the same, same storage engines, indexes, you know, triggers, uh, everything the same. The next thing, of course, is there uh, is an optimizer, right? And I think that's on its own. You could probably tell, you know, like a te ten best optimizer features, right? Or uh, <laughs> like uh, uh, on its own, right? I'm not going to go in uh, in, a, in a too many details, but there have been a lot of. Uh, uh, optimizer differences, uh, right? Uh, features what uh, uh, MariaDB has been uh, implemented, right? You can see, like, one of the big reasons, uh, as I understand, why MariaDB 11 is MariaDB 11 is a further uh, cost model changes uh, in the in the optimizer, and I think that is uh, uh, that is very important, right? I think that is also particularly important as the MySQL. Uh, and MariaDB is kind of a usage is, uh, is progressing, right? Because where maybe, you know, 15 years ago, right? You would see this ecosystem as kind of focused on a very, very simple uh, queries, right? I remember 
even uh, visiting one of the customers uh, who would uh, tell me, well, uh, we have found a way how to make MySQL fast and never have any kind of performance problems, query optimization uh, problems or whatever, right? And I would ask him, well, what are is it? They say, well, we just have a free rules. Well, that's wonderful, you know, just free rules, what are those? It's no joints, no joints, no joints. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they uh, essentially right, uh, avoided any kind of a join usage right, because they have been feared of any kind of conflict queries would just overload the system. Well, of course, you'll have to implement a joins uh, on the application because of that, right, which is actually even worse, right? But that uh, was their approach, right? But if you think about now, you know, like so many years later, we see a lot of complicated queries, right? If anything, we see a lot of uh, desire, right, and advanced language support. You know, think about, you know, like a, uh, things like a CTEs, a window and function, right, and, uh, and so on and so forth, right? And of course, all those things, they uh, require uh, the more advanced optimizer. So I think that is a uh, fantastic what that is, hmm, uh, something where uh, a lot of uh, uh, work has been put in. The next one, would be uh, zero configuration TLS SSL, right? And I think, Sergey, is that your invention or did you steal that from somewhere? Well, yes, yeah, I, think, uh, I think that is a very, uh, very cool uh, uh, idea, uh, right? What you can have uh, uh, zero configuration uh, TLS um, SSL, right? Considering, well, uh, how MariaDB is usually used right differently than your, you know, your browser uh, uh, client uh, configuration, and and that also allows to mm, uh, enable uh, in the newer uh, MariaDB releases uh, uh, SSL by uh, uh, by default, right? Which is I think uh, is uh, very important with a modern move to privacy and uh, and security by default on one side. And also really with, uh, you know, modern states, right, there is really not a lot of uh, uh, overhead, right, as, you know, in the times past for uh, having that uh, security. The next one uh, to mention would be, you know, catalogs, right? It's something uh, I think we, uh, Monty spoke uh, uh, extensively yesterday, right? So I think it's very fresh on everybody's mind. And I think what uh, I would think about that as a feature is like that really is a transparent and efficient uh, multi-tenancy. By transparent, I mean as what you don't really need to change your application, right? You probably have uh, seen that like, some people saying, well, you know what, we do some, you know, changes to share the tables, right? Or maybe we go ahead and, uh, you know, modify applications so we can use uh, give a different uh, users different schemas, right? Many hosting providers use it. But that is, of course, limiting, right? That means, oh, if you only get, you know, like a, uh, one schema, then you cannot deploy multiple applications, multiple, uh, multiple schemas as users, right? So mm, in this case, uh, that gives you uh, a transparent, what you get pretty much your virtual MariaDB server, and efficient in terms of what you do not need to have uh, uh, a, an instance per user, right, which becomes uh, uh, becomes expensive, right? Uh, additionally, I think the interesting uh, benefit in this case, of course, is uh, uh, the uh, better resource sharing, right? Because if I would say uh, I want to run, you know, 10 uh, MariaDB servers on the node, right, I will allocate my you know, buffer pool, other resources to them, uh, the, in a fixed way, right? And if uh, one of the users right now has more activity, well, he uh, would be restricted to resources while other resources would be idle. Their sharing allows that uh, much more flexible. And what you'll see, I think, in a lot of the uh, SaaS hosting providers, right? Or even kind of many um, enterprise application developer use cases, you also have that often mix of resources, right? Let's say, uh, you know, the, the system stays mostly idle, but then somebody, you know, 
does work for a period of time, right? And then uh, it's idle again. So I think that's a very, uh, uh, very cool, uh, very cool feature. Am I wrong, Monty? No, correct. No. Oh, okay. Right, that's mostly you are. Mostly I am. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, I was just going to say, like, look at that. That is the first time in a known history Monty agrees with me, but then he only mostly agrees with me. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the next one, it's even kind of more in plants, I would say, and I think you guys are speaking about that today, is uh, the vector search. All right. Uh, what is interesting is uh, I'm actually uh, talking about the vector search later today at the, at the FOSDEM, right? And we looked at uh, the vector search in, uh, uh, in the databases, right? It's kind of it's very interesting what uh, most of the folks out there, you know, MongoDB, Elastic, Cassandra, Postgres, of course, right? Uh, they have rolled out at least some vector search uh, as a, a support out there, right? And uh, uh, well, uh, MariaDB now has a plan, right? And Mari uh, and MySQL is a uh, known exception about uh, uh, having no plans, at least no plans in open source versions, right? Because uh, uh, they, with uh, uh, MySQL, uh, well, it's only existing kind of heatwave, which is cloud-only proprietary thing, right? Which, well, uh, community doesn't care about, uh, right, uh, too much. And I think that is a, pro uh, a problem, right? For me, that is also, uh, I would say, it sells some of the uh, sad state of MySQL direction, right, over the last, uh, let's say, a couple of years, right? Because I would say for, uh, uh, for quite a long time, uh, I would say what the MySQL, uh, the Oracle was better steward for MySQL than many feared, right? Many people say, oh my gosh, Oracle is going to, you know, to kill MySQL, close sources, right? Uh, just, just as long as we get those European Union gets off its back, uh, right? Well, that didn't quite uh, happen. But what happened uh, kind of more recently is what we see now is uh, their MySQL run as a part of the kind of heat wave team, right? And that uh, means what you would see a lot of features deployed only cloud only in, uh, in a heat wave, right? Not uh, really making out there in open source reason, but, uh, you know, by no, no good reason. I think a vector search is uh, one of them, right? I also, uh, you think about, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, some of the uh, advanced optimizer stuff, I would also specifically say uh, parallel query execution, right? Something like you ask uh, my school folks, hey guys, what is about that? They'll say, well, why would you need that if you have a complicated queries just run Heatwave? Oh, thank you. So Larry gets another boat. No, well, okay. Well, that's uh, the list uh, I had, and uh, I wanted to also maybe uh, ask you, right? Like, if you look at uh, uh, my list, uh, you probably see something. Oh, you know, Peter, I cannot believe you haven't spoken about this thing. So, what would be yours? Any? I have a list. Column store. What <laughs> thing? Column store. <laughs> oh, like a column store. But uh, but is uh, uh, is column store maintained by Marie D Foundation? No, by the foundation, but it is open source. It isn't like it's more like an open core? No, no. no? everything is open source. Is it? Because yeah, I thought there was like some enterprise. Uh, no, the Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, column store. I was thinking whether to include that uh, or not, right? But that's good. Okay. Oh, okay. Mind you. Late on, late on, Manchi. I mean, you covered most things, but a couple of things that you probably don't know about. So, because okay, yeah. So we have uh, in the client protocol, we also support arrays, so you can do basically very tri trivially uh, insert uh, and very fast insert the, of uh, thousands or tens of thousands of rows. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, 
the process list uh, you have an old version the new version will have uh, engine statistics max memory use the max temp space use so we're constantly extending that okay the same thing with slow query log per corner survey you had it uh, added a lot of interesting stuff we have no in the latest marini we had the same okay and it was more extension mm -hmm. so then you had done a great job for providing your customers with more information and we are gratefully copying that and then we also adding more quote, quotas like uh, you don't only know track temporal space to use you can also have a quota that uh, this user can create more than this amount of temporal space because of SaaS providers one of the big problem is that suddenly Temporal space is out and the server dies, which is not good. Nice. No, so you limit uh, the temporary space uh, user. Per user, yeah. Per user, yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, but it's not new anymore, so it's uh, more old. But uh, my biggest argument always from MariaDB or MySQL, it doesn't matter, uh, is uh, the no go for all others to pick them out is still its replication. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, nobody is, no others are able to upgrade the reputation the reputation class that uh, nobody of uh, the other so you always, in the others you always have one upgrade, you have a little downtime mm -hmm. and you can bring it down by the effort, but it's pretty easy with one version to another version mm -hmm. replication and um, when you have a 24 7 business and you don't have any maintenance windows and then my uh, what, what do you mean in terms of uh, the uh, replication, let's say, well, obviously yeah, yeah, like a, a lot matter. of MySQL folks use yeah, uh, replication. It doesn't matter if MySQL or, or MariaDB, but mm. you, you, you have a cluster, let's say one master and a thousand places also is coming in other database, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can, can just replicate from one lower version to a newer yeah. version and you can have a uh, hot upgrade version. Oh, yeah. Uh, cluster because you can just uh, put up one slave, upgrade them, and so on up to the master. Yeah. And that's still um, the argument for using MariaDB and not PostgreSQL or whatever. Yeah, I think it's uh, interesting if you look at uh, at Postgres, right? I was just uh, speaking about that, like on yeah. the PostgreSQL event. Yes, I say why when you have a logical replication, why yeah, you, you don't handle okay, GDLs? Is it like why? It's like looks like it's so stupid, right? And then I say, can, well, I can explain it to you why because uh, uh, you can do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I got, let's say, uh, 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 got some explanation, but I think I tried to argue it against the Oracle guys, and yeah. it was very funny because I got the answer. Yeah, but we can all do it because my SQL and this Oracle, and so we have another. Ah, okay. It was very really funny, but that's still, uh, it's really. Uh, this, uh, okay, when you have 24 step business and you need uh, high availability, which that you need, then mm. there is no other relational database system than MariaDB. And um, the other, and there was something else. Um, so, most of the SQL features, I still, I love uh, CTEs and handle functions and all the stuff, but uh, lateral joints. But uh, when I look outside, uh, it's very used, and I train it a lot. But uh, that's at least in other systems. Okay. Same, but mm -hmm. uh, this SQL bank, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I just ask him because uh, I uh, in the last weeks I often got the question about you know, security and uh, is that possible in maybe? Uh, we have not set a good syntax for for it, and then. Something that actually our customers want. So far, not a single our customers have worked. Uh, yeah, I, I usually said we don't need it, but, uh, but that's something. But and uh, ah, I know the Docker and Kubernetes compatibility that it's very easy to use for well, IADB and Docker Kubernetes uh, setup that you don't have this over uh, this Postgres version. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I was thinking about uh, having a similar uh, presentation, but focused on SPL syntax because there are some really nice additions in MariaDB, mm -hmm. which are there for years, but nobody knows that. Or at least most people, such like uh, insert returning, mm -hmm. which is very useful. Uh, 
executes minions, which is nice for creating a dynamic SQL. And uh, there are about 10, maybe, such things we don't exist in, uh, in, in MySQL. Some of them are standard, some are not. And uh, you mentioned the temporal tables, and there's something very interesting there. I uh, use that as a quiz for people mm -hmm. to check if they really read the documentation. Yeah. The question is when update or delete can insert new rows in a table. And this is a standard picture. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, and not many servers get it. Yeah, and the problem on SQL is that schools and uh, universities often just train uh, SQL like uh, 30 years ago. So in the update, delete and select. And if you have luck, they train inner and outer joints, but nothing more. And uh, that's always funny. Uh, funny. I see lots of queries still not using outer join. And outer join was in standard 2003 or so. Uh, they still use this uh, former uh, syntax with union. So there was, you could create outer yeah. joins with kind of union. I never know. I often see these queries in, in, in code and in tech, but I think that's an education problem in schools mm -hmm. or where they are SQL uh, first. And, uh, but uh, I do a lot. I always train CTEs and window functions and all this stuff because I just like it. And uh, also, uh, the knowledge base is very good in examples on this. Thanks to Ian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's really it's so. I often do, do this example, it's just the, maybe I translate it in okay. German or so. Uh, it's uh, also great, this knowledge base in SQL. Okay, I think you had some, uh, something? Yeah, I just uh, like to, uh, I was very impressed by the piece of engine. I think we can do a lot. It does, especially uh, when uh, on big database system, computer lights, there's a lot of things that stay there that is not needed. Mostly we don't need things like this, and the last thing is a user wanting to have this data around the database to join these things. I think there is fast storage, you can save a lot of things there, in a single place of storage for all the data. And I, I use it. Like, Okay. Okay, thank you. You didn't mention Galera. Uh, it's a bitch, but some use cases is quite useful. Why? Yeah. Or what is your opinion or experience? Oh, no, look, I think, uh, yes, yeah, I think, uh, uh, I, like, frankly, I didn't mention a lot of stuff in the uh, replication because both, uh, like, with Galera, uh, different from uh, group, uh, group replication, right? I think there is a different, uh, uh, you know, GTID uh, implementation, right? In, uh, MariaDB compared to, uh, to to MySQL. Yes, I mean I just uh, didn't go into the, uh, the replication besides like this kind of basic uh, thing. But yeah, I mean I think uh, I think Galera is. Uh, a lot of people are specifically specifically asking for Galera. Yeah, yeah. because marketing also. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. May, makes sense. Thank you. But uh, a big part of the customers is a MariaDB PLC are using Galera for. Hmm. Mostly for high availability and, and multi master, not so much, but a few. Mm -hmm. And that's say automatic failover. Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant to yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Well, uh, with that, I also had like something uh, in this case. I think it's interesting, uh, uh, like, particularly. Uh, uh, there's a lot of the cool features, some I mentioned, some you mentioned, I think some of the interest in what uh, you mentioned. Well, so that is something which is kind of not new, right? I mean, I think... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, no, but, but I think it is kind of an uh, interest in, uh, uh, in this case. I think there, even if it's not new, I would bet you what there is like a, so many uh, average user, average developer don't, uh, uh, don't know about that, right? And I think that is something which uh, I would... Uh, 
uh, very much encouraged about uh, as you guys talk, write blogs, write about uh, uh, write about those features, right? And uh, uh, do not uh, well, do not fear to be kind of repetitive, right? Because what may look like, oh my gosh, I have been already speaking about that, or wrote about that two years ago. Well. 99.9% .9 people still haven't uh, haven't heard about that, right? And that will be new for them. Uh, as, yes, you know. So. And what I like on uh, is also that uh, when you see people show um, show plate or show installation others, uh, you have the replication lag. Try to find out the replication lag in PostgreSQL. <laughs> Long of joy and of internet tables or something like that. There, there's some more monitoring stuff that's more complicated in our head than most of it. And vice versa, you could find. Yes, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair enough. I think it's an, you know, interesting from your uh, perspective and background, kind of comparing with uh, with PostgreSQL. I have lots of customers of applications, so uh, and they always want to know the lag, and uh, that's very easy to see in our editing in the post. Mm -hmm. and yes, we can figure it out. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, you know some. Uh, uh, you know, good, uh, good feedback, good uh, so uh, questions. So thank you, folks. That's all uh, uh, I had.